Good evening and welcome to the Bring Back Jimmy's Club, Jimmy's Music Club, Evening News. I haven't been here in a while. I've been waiting for all the news to get together, so there's a lot to talk about today. That's why I'm back on the news. I'm not a broadcaster, I'm not a media man, but I've learned how to do this to, uh, to have some truth, justice in the American way. That's right the American way. So uh, so here we go. It's Thursday, July 18th, and this is the developments that have happened recently. As you know, the mayor, uh, the deputy mayor, uh, and all his aides have reached out to us and said we can get this done, but go through this moratorium system, which we think is illegal, but they think it's legal, so we're going through the system, and they promise they can get us through this system. So here's where we are right now. Uh, they told us to go through the City Planning Commission, uh, which we did. We had to have a draftsman draw up some specs that cost us more money. We had to pay for a permit that was $1,000. We met with them. Uh, we brought our plans. And then uh, uh, they had an inspector come out to Jimmy's Club. About a week later, they inspected the property. They were very nice. They said everything's up to code. They said they have to check with permits. Uh, to see how we stand there and they said we're good to go in the permits department we haven't lost our, our non-conforming use and we are uh, okay as a, a, a music club and a cocktail lounge so this is what's happened recently uh, 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 the honorable council member Susan Gidry said uh, let me meet with you guys we want to talk some things over so we met with her with our attorney, my, my wife, and the new investors for Jimmy's. And uh, it's like we met with the people, the uh, all the Jimmy haters. They were all there. There wasn't any pro-Jimmy's people there. Well, we did have one. But it was mostly outnumbered by the people who do not want Jimmy's to reopen. They live in the neighborhood. They do not want it to reopen. So Susan Gidry was very nice. Uh, she... Uh, Talked about certain things were grandfathered in, so we uh, we we went along with this meeting, and then uh, uh, this coming uh, Sunday we we're gonna meet with the uh, the neighborhood association, and we're gonna work out a neighborhood agreement. Uh, and if some of the things are not acceptable, it, because some of the things are unreasonable, what they were like, they want to tell us when they open. They even want to tell us how many days uh, we can open during the week. What time to open, what time to close. There's already laws on the books for that. So we're going to hash that out. And But recently, uh, yesterday, we had a meet and greet with the neighborhood. Uh, our attorney suggested this, and it worked out really good. We met the neighborhoods. We, uh, uh, we had a caterer come out, Chef Emil, did some of his great jambalaya. We had some wine and some beer. We met all the neighbors, and they signed off on a good neighborhood agreement. So... Uh, that and we go this coming Sunday to negotiate terms and if some of the terms are unrealistic we won't accept them we'll go before the City Council coming up they've agreed to see us on the 25th that's this Thursday at 11 p.m. so all the Jimmy supporters please come out there and support us so uh, the uh, City Council is uh, on record saying they're not denying Jimmy's but we have to go through this moratorium system. So we have gone through it. We're at the last stages there. So the fate of Jimmy's Music Club uh, is in their hands. So, so please come out, support us at 11 p.m. Uh, and it's scheduled for this Thursday. It might be uh, possibly on the 8th if they want to move it. But we're ready to, uh, to go uh, and get our permit. So... Thank you for being supportive of Jimmy's Club, and it's truth, justice in the American way. That's all I'm looking for is justice. So good evening, and thank you for watching the Jimmy's Bring Back Jimmy's Club Evening News. Thank you.